Hey, everyone, welcome back to Manuals Plus. Today, we're elaborating about the specifications of Uniden D1484 Decked 6 handset. Let's get started. Inside the box. Accessory handset and charger. Rechargeable battery. Battery cover. AC adapter. Base with answering system and cordless handset. Rechargeable battery. Battery cover. AC adapter. Telephone cord. Installing your phone. Charge the battery. Unpack all handsets, battery packs, and battery covers. If you need to remove a cover, press in on the notch and slide the cover down and off. Line up the battery connector with the jack inside the handset, the connector only fits one way. Push the connector in until it clicks into place, tug gently on the wires to make sure the battery is securely connected. Replace the battery cover and slide it into place. Use an AC adapter to connect the power jack on the base to a regular indoor power outlet. Connect any chargers the same way. Place a handset in the base with the display facing forward. If the display doesn't light up, reseat the handset or connect the base to a different outlet. For two or more handsets, place each handset in a charger. Charge the handset completely before using. Connect the telephone cord. Use the telephone cord to connect the tell line jack on the base to a standard telephone wall jack. If the display says check tell line, check the connection between the base and the phone jack. If you are mounting the phone on the wall, place the mounting slots over the pins on the wall plate, slide the base down to lock it into place. Changing from tone to pulse dialing. Your phone uses tone dialing by default. If your phone company uses pulse dialing, you need to change your phone's dial mode. Press menu or select and select global setup. Select dial mode then pulse. You'll hear a confirmation tone. Let's have a short overview. Handset. Reading the display. Base. Entering text on your phone. Use the 12 key dial pad anytime you want to enter text into your phone. If two letters in a row use the same key, enter the first letter, wait for the cursor to move to the next space and enter the second letter. Using the menu. If you don't press any keys for about 30 seconds, the handset exits the menu. During a call, use phone book or left to back out of the menu without hanging up. Handset setup menu. Date and time menu. Use this menu to set the clock. Enter the date and time, select AM or PM. Use caller ID or write to move the cursor past a digit without changing it. To confirm, press menu or select. Global setup menu. The settings on this menu affect all handsets. Using your phone basics. After 5 minutes on hold, the call will be disconnected. Changing the volume. You can adjust each handset's volume independently. Press up or down to increase or decrease the earpiece or speaker volume when you are using them. You can adjust the ringer volume when the phone is in standby to turn off the turn the ringer volume all the way down. Finding the handset. With the phone in standby, press find on the base. All handsets beep for 1 minute. To cancel, press find again or press any handset key. Using the phone book, caller ID, and redial lists. The phone can store up to 70 entries in its phone book. If you subscribe to caller ID service, the phone stores the information for the last 30 received calls to the CID list. Contact your telephone provider for more information. Each handset remembers the last five numbers you dialed on it. 
Only one handset can access one of the lists at a time. When it's in standby, the handset shows how many calls came in since the last time you checked the CID list. Adding phone book entries. With the phone in standby, open the phone book. Press menu or select and then select create new. Proceed to enter a name and number. Enter the phone number exactly as you would dial it. If you need to enter a pause between the numbers, press redial or pause, you'll see a P in the display. To edit the number, press intercom or clear to back up the cursor and delete. Re-enter the correct numbers. Deleting all the entries. With the phone on standby, open the list. Press menu or select and then select delete all. To confirm, select yes. Chain dialing. If you often have to enter a series of digits or a code number during a call, you can save that code number as a regular phone book entry and use the phone book to send the code number. Make a call normally. When you hear the prompt that asks you to enter your number, open the phone book and find the entry. Press menu or select to send the code. If you change your mind, just close the phone book. Using call waiting. Call Waiting, a service available from your telephone provider, lets you receive calls while you are on another call. Caller ID on Call Waiting, CIDCW, service displays caller ID information for a waiting call. If you get a call waiting call, the phone sounds a tone. Press talk or flash to switch between the current call and the waiting call, each time you switch, there is a short pause before you're connected to the other caller. Multi-handset features. To use the features in this section, you need at least two handsets. Handset to handset intercom. You can make an intercom call from any handset, but only two handsets can be in an intercom call at any time. If an outside call comes in during an intercom page, the phone cancels the page so you can answer the incoming call. If an outside call comes in during an intercom call, press talk or flash to hang up the intercom call and answer the outside call. Call transfer. Conference calling. When an outside call comes in, two handsets can join in a conference call with the outside caller. To join a call that's already in progress, just press talk or flash or speaker. To leave the conference call, hang up normally, the other handset remains connected to the call. Privacy mode. To activate privacy mode on a call in progress, press menu or select twice. As long as privacy mode is on, you'll see an in the display, and no other handsets can join your call. Privacy mode turns off automatically when you hang up, you can also turn it off by pressing menu or select twice. Using a voicemail service. If you subscribe to a voicemail service, your phone can notify you when you have a new message waiting. This feature supports frequency shift keying message notifications. Contact your voicemail provider for more information. When you have new messages, the status LED on the handset blinks, and the display shows a message icon. After you listen to your messages, the voice message icon turns off. If it doesn't, you can reset it. With the phone in standby, open the menu and select Global Setup, select VMWI Reset, then select Yes. Using the Answering System Answering System Options, Answering Setup, you can set or change the Answering System Options from any handset. Just open the menu and select Answering Setup. Select one of the following. Personalizing the greeting. Your personal outgoing message or greeting can be from 2 to 30 seconds long. If you don't record a greeting, the system uses a pre-recorded greeting, hello, no one is available to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. With the phone in standby, open the menu. Select Answering Setup and perform a procedure from the following table. Accessing the Answering System When the phone is in standby, you can access the system from any handset. Only one handset or the base can access the system at a time. During Remote Access The handset display shows the number of messages. The system beeps so you know it's waiting for your next command. You can press the number key shown next to each command instead of scrolling through the screens. If you do nothing for 30 seconds, the phone returns to standby. Getting your message. When you have new messages, only the new messages will be played. 
To play old messages, completely play all new messages first, and then start message playback again. Deleting all messages. With the phone in standby, press delete, press delete again to confirm. Screening your calls. While the system takes a message, you can listen on the base speaker or from a handset. Only one handset can screen calls at a time. If another handset tries to screen calls, it beeps and returns to standby. If you mute the call screen, the system continues taking the message. It just stops playing through the speaker. Thanks for tuning in with Manuals Plus today. If you found this guide helpful, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more handy tutorials. Catch you in the next video.